Hello everyone, this is Professor Kent and today I am going to help you uh, sh uh, help you download uh, the MSQL Server 2014 and how to complete Module 1 and how to complete the challenge exercise at the back of Chapter 1. So which is similar to the, the uh, chapter uh, chapter module. So I'm going to go through chapter module so that you're able to finish the challenge exercise that is posted um, um, that is posted in your class um, um, uh, in, in the class instructions. So let's do that. The first thing you're going to do is uh, you're going to sign in. When you sign in, you're going to look for class app um, class apps and Centennial. The first thing is going to come up and then you're going to go down. You're going to look for class app 20 login. This is the login that you, you're you going to use as your, your credentials to log in. So leave this the way it is. The domain, say next, is going to look for a username. You put it in your username and it's going to look for your password. Sometimes you remember your password, sometimes you don't remember. So make sure you remember your password. So then you're going to sign in. When you sign in, you're going to come to uh, this, this screen where uh, you have um, all the apps that you can use at Centennial. So the one we are interested in this course uh, is Class App Windows 10. So you're going to double click it. It's going to launch. Just just uh, give it a couple minutes, depending on the, your on your internet, how fast is it? So just let um, the the system do its thing, and then I'm not going to have a full screen because I want to do, see the both screens. So here you could have a full screen, or you could cancel it. If you cancel it, that means it's going to you are able to see both screens, your class app screen, and you are able to see your. Uh, desktop screen so those are the two things that uh, we wanted to see but it's going to take a couple of minutes you have to be patient for this so we're going to take a couple of minutes uh, it's preparing what needed to be prepared it's going to do everything that needed to be done at the background so we're just going to wait a couple of minutes it's coming uh, so again when you are you're starting with MSQL service first. When you do that MSQL server, what you have to do is you have to create two uh, two files, a database a system files and a data uh, file. Um, it's, it's still doing what it needed to be doing. It's, um, um, I can see it's just trying to finish installing what needed to be installed. We're good. I think at this point, if you look at it, I have a balance when you this it comes when I don't owe anything to Centennial. So in this case, I am uh, I'm going to put it. I'm going to close this now from the from the um, from the uh, window from the uh, Microsoft uh, from the start button. What I'm going to look at it. I am going to look for my. Uh, MSQL Server 2014 that's the one I'm working I'm going to expand it by clicking here and then what I'm looking for is management studio uh, SQL Server management studio so I'm going to click and then what it's going to do is going to come up with a screen uh, is if you're following the instructions from the uh, from the module one or from the book uh, you will come up with the screen so in this screen what we're going to do is we connecting the MSQL server this is the, you have to do this every time you use this class app every time you have to do two things uh, religiously so then you're going to leave your server you're going to leave the server leave it alone so then you're going to you have the second one drop down window you're going to say browse for more when you browse for more you're going to expand your database engines and you're going to click on the third one one two three and it is called agfec 2019 so make sure you're you're um, you're picking up the right server so it is agfec 2019 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click okay then you're going to go to your 
Next one, what you're going to do is you're going to have a drop down window. You're going to say SQL Server. Now going to your login. Login is different here than is shown in your book. Your password is shown in your book is different. But when you're using the class apps, it is different. It is going to be lower letter. First, your login is SA. Your password will be S S. Q L S E R V E R. It's called SQL Server. There's no space. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect. So I'm going to have the system do does its work. Now I the other mistake I just made it is that I didn't copy and paste. So in this case, what we could do is um, I could go back again. I can go to the connect database engine. So what you could do is you have to copy this. And if I make a mistake that I don't copy it, I can go back and copy it. You're going to highlight and you're going to say control C. Sometimes we forget to do that. And I'm going to just, just do it again so the system remembers me. So I'm going to do quick connect and then when first thing is your database you're going to right click you're going to say new database your new database is the first one i'm going to make it a little bit um, extended first one you're going to type o m n s y s they're capital letters and there's six letters you're going to use and then you're going to change it to six so the six is your uh, the length of your database is six and then you're going to come at the bottom you're going to select okay so don't select add you're going to select okay then i'm going to go one more time now i'm going to i'm going to create my second one omni data so o m d a t this is the company file again i'm going to change this to six and I am going to say OK. Now I have done created two database. If I wanted to see it, you can extend it by clicking on the button that is um, plus button. So now you look at it. I have OMN data and I have OMS a um, SAS system. So now what we are going to do is now we have created it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create um, in the uh, database in our Sage 300. So what you're going to do is you're going to close it. So you're going to close MSQL server at the right side. You're going to close it. Now I go again to my start button and I'm going to find Sage. They are in alphabetic order. So I look under Sage. Under Sage, I'm using my utility program. So it's, it's under, if you look at it, database loader, lo, loader utility, I'm going to click on database setup. I'm going to double click it. Now it's going to ask me for password. It's lowercase. My password is A-D-M-I-N. And I'm going to say, okay, you're going to get to these, these uh, four old databases. Those old databases, we're going to delete it. How are you going to delete it? You don't need to click, click anywhere else. Just click on the delete and say, yes, it's going to delete the first one. You delete your second one and then you delete your next one. Now we have deleted it. Now what we are doing is we're ready to create our Omni Sys and Omni Date, uh, Omni Data. So click on new and then the first one is O-M-N-S-Y-S. So make sure you have, a, these are capital, they're self case sensitive. You're gonna say okay. And then what you're going to do is I'll click on the server. And this is the server that we copy from MSQL. Uh, so I'm going to do control V so so I can bring it here. So when, what you're going to do is when you bring it here, it will copy the server. Everybody's going to have a different server. Your login again is SA. It's a lowercase. My password is s q l s e r v e r and your database name will be o m n 
S Y S. So whatever the description is, that's what your database is. Then you're going to say, okay, system is now system created the Omnisys, but we need to do two of them. The second one database is my Omni data. So I'm going to now click or uh, type O M N D A T. In this case, automatically came what we're doing is system is already smart to create the Omnisys for us. We're going to say, okay, you again, you go to server, you do control V. It's the same one that we again, we created from um, MSQL server. Your login is SA, your password SQL server, SQL S E R V E R and my database name will be the disk the O M N D A T is the same as the description of your uh, of your database and I'm going to say okay now you have two files here so that's what we wanted to see you're going to see two of them so once we have done it we are going to click on the exit button now what we're doing is we're ready to create our uh, to work on our sage uh, 300 software so we're going to again you're going to click on the window start button and again you're using the class uh, the uh, the class app windows so you're going to go down you're going to look for sage and once you look at sage then you're going to now you're ready you're going to click on sage 300 and then what you, the system is going to come here and it's going to do something at the background and when it's doing it in the background say okay and what we are going to do is we're going to open our you don't need to, you could have canceled it there i don't know why it does that um sometimes it does that uh, once once in a while the centennial um uh, when you log into the class app so let it system take its course um, if it doesn't come up with anything, I can do open. You can say on the left side, open company. When you open a company, your password here is admin, A-D-M-I-N. So in this case, we did not change the name, but I'm going to show you how to change the name. The session date we are working with in this uh, in this course will be up to four, module 4 is 0101. 2021 so that's what we are working with so 0101 2021 and you're gonna say okay so when you do okay you're gonna get to the administrative services window it is not active we know that it's not active because we haven't done anything we're gonna say proceed with that uh, system is going to proceed with what needed to be done uh, in the background. Our physical year will be starting with 01-01-2021. Again, if you're using a book, the book is using 23, but we're using 21. So I'm going to say proceed. So the first one is it comes back with is where we need to change the name of our company. The name of the company is in your book and also in uh, in the lesson mod the lesson note that I posted uh, the in module uh, in your module one the one I uploaded it is on page fourteen. So you're gonna fill up everything needed to be filled up. In this case, you're gonna say Omni. And this is the name of the company, Omni Electric, Electric, Electric uh, Limited. You're going to tab. This is the tax number that you have with your Revenue Canada. This is your business when you register your business. You could have a legal name too. Sometimes we uh, we have a legal name is different from the name uh, that we're doing the business. Then you have an address. We're going to pick up that is given from that page 14765 John Street. Uh, John Street. Then we are going to tab to our city. City is where our, our corporation is. is. In this case, we, we it is Toronto and we Toronto, Ontario. And the postal code is M6, M6S3M2. So then you're going to do 
next in this case you're going to tab it um, you could do the space here too if you want your choice um, in this case the way you put it in this is how it's going to be printed out on your statement country it will be in canada so we're in canada this bit this company is going to be incorporated in canada the name of the contact person will be my name here uh, the question says your name whatever is your name so in this case i'm going to put in my name so when you're going to format it you click the format it's going to be 416 you're going to use your uh, your uh, next is 604 this is the telephone number and then when you're doing a fax number your fax number will be 6041112 that is given it to you in your instructions the next what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next i haven't said okay so just tab it at the top option option tells you that how many months in a year 12 months the only thing i'm going to look up it is that if you don't remember it um i will we want to your the functional currency will be a canadian you can look it up here and then go down to canadian and select canadian dollar so if the company is in us then you're going to do a us currency and what i'm going to email we don't need to do we're going to select okay in this case if you go to the left side now the system is doing what it needed to be done so we are going to do so the first one is your now if you look at it your admin admin services are active your common services are also active so in the common services that's the first thing we did was to create a profile so if i double click it you will see the same thing i input it when we open the file so i don't need to do anything if i go to the physical year it's not going to let you do anything because we haven't activated anything if you look go to the uh, i'm going to say close and close so next one is your schedule Sched double click on the schedule and then this is the schedule we can set it up um, to when the system we want the system to remind us of anything in this case you could do a monthly weekly bi-weekly whatever you want to do in this case if i wanted a monthly you're going to do monthly m m o n t monthly so the description will be monthly so monthly uh, and then what you're going to do is you're going to leave uh the uh, in this case it's a user mode a user mode will be you can say it for all users or or whatever mode you want in this case um and, and select the specific one so in this case we're going to select this one so this one then you're going to go to your monthly and then when um when you want the system to remind you in this case you could do the schedule the starter day too i didn't do that in this case the uh the the month ends is uh, um, uh january 31st every month the schedule will be different but depending on how many days we have it in the month so in this case we don't want it to the fe when february comes we don't want to come here and remind ourselves in this case you're going to select monthly then it, you want it to go to here um uh, on when do you want the system to remind it on the last day uh, so we're going to click on the last and then what we are going to do is click on the add so we did it click on the add and once you add it it saves it automatically and then once you could save it again to just make sure that everything is saved and then once it's saved you're going to go to close and whatever you do here it automatically comes to the reminder list so if i double click on the reminder list and then i go down to to all assigned the monthly comes up that's the page number 19 on your screen so it's a mine 19 so you can extend it so that's the date so now we're gonna go now what the other thing we wanted to do is it um, I'm not going to test you on it, but I'm just wanted to show you under administrative services, you can assign different password to different users. So let's see if I can assign a password to my myself, my ID, let's say that my ID will be Kent. 
what is my name my name will be in this case the question says that enter your uh, full name my full name will be my first name and my last name what you're going to do do is you're going to say that you're going to do the account uh, in this case account type we are going to leave it alone english we're going to leave it alone everything we're going to leave it alone but what we wanted to do it what we want to do is assign what type of job i have i could say that i'm a bookkeeper or i'm a uh, accountant or a manager so this is what i'm going to do is i'm going to say accountant or a bookkeeper so what i'm going to do is if i log in i'm going you're going to give me a password remember when you're doing it write it down you're going to give this password to this accountant or a bookkeeper i'm just going to do is uh, i'll just put a password I'm just going to do is I'm going to call it password one, two, three, four, and you're going to verify it password. So you remember what password you're, you're adding and you have to uh, remember that. So you could do is you can go to the account options and you could uh, give them a different type of uh, uh, things that you have done. So uh, if you wanted to do is you could review them and see um review the account option but leave leave them turn off means don't do anything with this and then you're going to do is you're going to click on add so this is the click on add and then you save it and you close it add and save does the same thing in other words once you added it it saves it so if i go to security group now if i were to do this um what it does is system will tell you what type of uh uh, security group I have so in this case where did we created it in the administrative services you can assign a different one we wanted to what kind of job this person is going to be doing but we wanted to leave these alone for now so uh, will be displayed so we wanted to leave it alone uh, that was our first lecture um, the now what we are ready to whatever we did even though we did a little bit the purpose of this uh, uh, this class was to how to connect msql server how to create database now what i'm doing is i'm going to ready to dump my file so whatever i did i have to dump it every time i do something i need to dump it so where is my dump i'm just going to go back to uh, here so you're going to go on the left side you're going to click on the administrative services and what we wanted to do is we wanted to dump it so when you dump it you double click it now i forgot to create a folder so what you're going to do is you can minimize this and go create a folder so now if you look at it i'm going to minimize it and i'm going to uh, minimize it at the top and i'm going to create a folder so you're going to create a folder where you're going to create it in your desktop uh, so this is the class app desktop so i'm going to click right click and then i'm going to say new and i'm going to say folder so then i'm going to rename this folder i'm going to came okay, this is going to be omni sys and then what you could do is you could do a lesson one so or module one whatever you wanted to call it i wanted to keep it separate so i can remember it next time so in this case it is omnisys while we're here what we could do is we can also create a folder under your h drive which will be your omnisys so you're going to go to your file folder you're going to double click it on the left side you're going to locate your h drive i already have something i'm just going to delete this so i'm doing this again with you i'm going to say delete it so first i'm going to do is i'm going to create it i'm sure you have other classes i'm going to say class this is the class hcc 238 in the 328 i wanted to create the same folder that i just created it under the desktop so it's going to be omni -sys and I wanted to call it lesson one. So if you want to go ahead and you can create lesson two, lesson three, you can do that, but I'm not going to do that in this case. What are we going to do is om, omnisys, 
lesson one i'm going to close this now i'm going to go first i when i'm here i'm going to dump it in my de desktop from the desktop i'm going to move my file to my h drive so again i'm going to double click on on this file the first file you want to download you want to dump is omnisys so you're going to click on omnisys and you're going to click on the browse so if you do it browse you're going to go to your desktop click on double click on the desktop and locate your folder don't don't double click it just locate the folder highlight it and say okay and then what you're going to do is after that you're going to say dump dump will you'll get this message don't worry about it say okay it'll dump 16 files so if you got the 16 file you did it right so close it now i'm going to dump what i'm going to dump my uh, my my company file which is omni files and then where are you going to dump it at the same folder you can browse it i'm going to show you how to browse it double click click on the folder just click don't double click just click and this folder should be highlighted say okay and then i dump the file say okay you're going to get around 30 files which is right now close it now i can close i'm done with what i needed to do for module one and you're going to do the same thing for your challenge exercises so challenge exercises are kept sep separate from your omni sys so you, you are going to have another folder which is going to be a uh, sam sys folder so what i'm going to do is I'm going to close it. I'm going to close it by closing the Sage 50. It's asking you to, you want to close it? Yes, because I'm done what I'm, um, I finished doing. Say, okay. And then I said, close. So sometimes it's, you could do it that way or you could go to the home window and you could exit it or you could close the company. You can do that too. Whatever different ways you want to exit. So you can close the company and exit. Before you exit out of this, what I wanted to do is I want this folder. Sorry, where it is? Where did it go? Oh, I don't know what I did with it. It is somewhere here. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to dump my, not dump, move my, from my, uh, this omnisys uh my my um my uh, desktop on the desktop i have my omnisys i could copy that folder you could copy it if you can't drag it you could copy it and then where am i going to put it i am going to put it in my h drive so i'm going to locate my h drive and i'm going to put it in here and i'm going to don't double click it just highlight it and then paste it so that's where it's gone so if i wanted to see if it's there you should have some files in there when you are double clicking it you'll see four files one two three four so omni date data omni sys and dct and dct file so this is if you look at it this is in my h drive so if i wanted to do it i wanted to look if it's, this was the same files i go under my omnisys so double click it it's i have same four files so then you know that you did everything right so what you could do is you can close everything and then once you close everything your files are saved under h drive and then my next module will be module two and we'll show you how to how to load the files and how to activate your gl setup so uh, i'm going to uh, record another video next week after the our thursday's class thank you for listening take care everyone and see you in the class and i'm going to log out